Hey guys. Hey, I wanted to. Um, there's a lot of new traders coming in to the room and to the team, so I thought I'd just make a quick point on. It's just a lot of new traders that are trying to get a feel for how to trade crypto. So a lot of you want to be in the space longer term. You want to make some investments, but um, what I want to share with you, and for those that sign up to be involved in the crypto team. We're going to work on this a lot because this is a concept where I called adding and reducing. So I did a blog post on this and I was talking about dollar yen as an example. Um, but the idea is that, look, guys, you want to be long something as an investment, 5, 10, 15 years, maybe your entire life. I mean, you know, I look back, I was having this conversation with my dad this actually this last weekend and he worked for Apple back in the 80s. But um the shares and the contracts that that company was given a lot of their sales guys at the time, they went back and looked at if they just held a corp, held a position for the last 30 years. I mean, some of this, some of the stuff that that company gave them is worth 30 million dollars today, and that's true for whether you're getting stuff um, that's on the that's being newly issued. Um, you know, that was those were contracts that was issued to the employees and. Not not, necess not not necessarily something that you're trading on the secondary market, but it doesn't matter. If you want to take a core position on an investment, whether it be Apple or Amazon or Google when it first came out, it's very easy to lose your position because you get, when you zoom into the chart, when you zoom in on an, a yearly or a six month or even a two year chart, the moves are going to look vertical when in reality it's just a one year overbought scenario it takes a year and a half to build a base and then you have another leg up so what you what you don't want to have happen is you get shaken out of your position where you've established a good core long you sit through a, a bull you know a bull rally maybe that's six months maybe that's a year and then you get a natural basing period and you exit the market and next thing you know five years you're double you're two to three times higher and so what you want to do is we want to establish a core position and we may leave a piece on for um, you know you may we may be bit long Bitcoin for the next 30 years and never selling but there's points where you get really overbought you're gonna to want to take some off I'm gonna show you guys on the chart here and then there's points like we had this weekend where you're gonna to wanna to be going back into the market and increasing your position uh, so I call that adding and reducing and we want to be trading around our core position when the four hour gets knocked down, we put some bids in below the market. We start scaling in. As we get hourly and four hour pops, and we start coming out of some. And you can almost imagine pouring two two glasses of water, okay? They're each half they're each half empty or half full. And you're just pouring one one cup into the other. So as the market gets high and rises, the cycles get high market gets overbought you want to come out take some profits that allows you to raise cash for the next pullback and you can go back in build your position again and what you want to focus on is I mean we do this when we day trade but you're you're focusing on your average costs you're focusing on um, you know there's times to get heavy and there's times to to be very light and patient um, let me try to give you a visual here, guys. Um, we'll do it on Bitcoin. So this past weekend is another one of these dips where slowly start buying back in. Okay. I mean, I highlighted this level last week, this whole area. We talked about this in the live room today. Uh, why isn't this refreshing? It doesn't look right.
slow, guys. If it's because I'm recording this, so we have too many apps run. What the deal is. Blue magenta. That sounds great. Okay. So if you guys remember last week, I I teach my traders about we don't we're not level specific. We look at the markets in terms of areas. So yes, you can identify support and resistance, but when you're looking for a dip to buy in the market, trying to just trade around one level is crazy um, that that can't the levels does not determine what is bullish or bearish all right I don't know guys this Okay, there, but better. I don't know why it took so long for this to show up. So guys, here on Bitcoin, the traders and I, we talked about this today. This is a low. This is a higher low. This is a higher low. This was a higher low. The first sign that we were going to get a deeper pullback was we couldn't hold the bands here. It's this green line. We call this the wave formation bands. You couldn't, you couldn't hold these lows. And that's what causes this deeper pullback. Now, if you're trading and you're being very level specific, this is where you can get in trouble. When you have a move and a drop from here all the way to these lows like this, pretty much in a straight line, right? You didn't have a bounce and a move down. It was just a straight move down. Or if you want to measure from this bounce in here back towards this 8 right here and then the drop. When you drop from this high into these lows and you're trying to trade level specific, if you're using this level here, um, which was 1913, okay, this is what you do not want to do. Let me zoom in. If you're trading level specific and you say, oh man, this low broke here, 1913. Wow, okay. It, the level didn't hold. This is bearish. I'm getting short. If you're selling into these lows right here, congratulations, you just sold the low, the absolute low. Now, if you think about this as an area, which is why I drew the blue rectangle, this support, this support is an area. You are buying in here like we were and averaging back in. This is where you want to be adding to your position. You're increasing your risk. Okay? But you want to be buyers in here. Buyers in here. Buyers in here. Buyers in here. And then on the rallies, you can take some off. Take some profit. If you bought well here, you're taking some profit. If you bought well here, you could take some profit. Bought well here, take some profit. Bought well into this lows, take some profit. And so you're, this is what I mean, you're adding and reducing. We're buying, taking some off, buying, taking some off, buying, buying more, buying more, taking some off. On this next dip, guess what? We'll be buyers down here again if we get the pullback. If this ends up just being a V bottom and then we go off to the races, so be it. But we'll time this up with the cycles. I mean, I was highlighting that this was low within the cycle last week. Sure enough, what happened? We just put in another cycle low. We were oversold even on an RSI reading. Boom. Okay. That was an opportunity to buy. And what you want to do 
is keep a core position. So what that might look like is let's just say, for an example, let's say you get to be long at some point five bitcoins, okay? Maybe for this run, I'm long three. I'm long, let's just say I'm long five here. And then we go on a run, I take one off. Now I'm only long four. Okay, take another one, one lot off. Now I'm only long three bitcoins. Okay, we go on this run. I take another one off, another lot off. Now I'm only long two bitcoins. Then we get a pullback. I buy another bitcoin back. Now I'm back long three. I'm just showing you this as an example. Long three, long two. It, for the move into 3,000, I'm only long one. On this pullback, I buy one back. I'm back long two. I'm back long three. Sell one out. Only long two. Long three. Only long two. Long three. Long four. Maybe if we pull back to the 200, I get long five again, and then I even get more aggressive. I'm long six or seven or eight contracts or coins. This is just an example. This is an example of how it add and reduce. This is what we mean. Anyway guys, this is the stuff that we do on my full access team, on my trading team. We do this in currencies, futures, gold, oil, NASDAQ. Um, but now we're doing it on the cryptocurrencies as well. So if you guys are interested in trading like this and you want to trade together on our um, coin team, uh, check us out, JenkinsRM.com. Under services, you'll see the info on the crypto team. Uh, I'll just show you right now as well. It's a long video anyway.